Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to enable virtualization on your Windows 11 PC. It's quick and easy, so let's get into it. So let's jump into our settings. So I'm just going to go into the search icon here, and it's a recent search. We're going to go into our system settings. On the left hand side, you will see Windows Update. You're going to open Windows Update, and from here, you are going to look for Advanced Options, and here you're going to look for Recovery. Once you're in recovery, you will see the advanced startup and you're going to click on restart now. It'll close all your programs and it'll restart your computer. So here you will see a few options. You're going to look for troubleshoot. You're going to now go into advanced options. And here you're going to look for UEFI firmware settings. This is where you can change your firmware settings. All right, here we are going to need to restart so that we can enter the system BIOS. Right now, this will be for Intel based systems. OK, so these instructions will differ slightly if you're not using an Intel based system. You're going to go down to the bottom and you're going to look for advanced mode. Let's just click on OK on this dialog. On the top, you'll see a toolbar. You're going to go over to advanced over here. You're going to look for CPU configuration on the left hand side. There's a menu. It should be the very first option. All right, now, if you Scroll down a little bit here, you will see the Intel virtualization technology and currently it's disabled. So what you want to do is just click on it and you will be able to enable it. All right. Now from here, you're going to go up to the top of the page on the right hand side. You're going to tap on exit and here you'll have the opportunity to say save the changes and exit. So once your computer restarts, your virtualization will now be enabled.